Where do we start with the massively important Tesla Model S? Well, we've already delved into its technical bits. We've performed three range tests and we know it'll go anywhere between 238 miles and 285 miles on a charge. But there's one thing that will prove the Model S is worth, and that's how it works as a car. How fast is it? How fun is it to drive? This week on Ignition, we're going to find out. The first thing about the Model S is that it doesn't start like a normal car. Instead of pressing a key to unlock it, you simply touch the door handle. It pops out, and you tug it open. You don't press a button or turn a key to start the car either. You just touch the brake and put it in drive. The massive center screen jumps to life, and with barely a sound, you're off. You might think with all this instantaneous torque that launching the Model S might be difficult. It's not, you just hit the go pedal. The thing just leaps off the line. The torque is insane. Zero to 60, four seconds. And the quarter mile flies by 12.4 seconds at 112.5 miles an hour. And now for our 60 to zero braking test. Very good stopping power. Our best stop was 113 feet. So now we begin the figure eight test in the Tesla Model S and the acceleration out of a corner. It's just incredible. I mean, it's a heavy car. You can feel that mid corner right now. But when you come out of a corner and you put the gas pedal down or the accelerator pedal down, the thing just takes off. It's like riding Superman at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, it has a surprising amount of grip given its size and its weight, and you can push it pretty hard. We have traction control off, but you can't fully defeat stability control, and that's a good thing because this thing makes so much torque as soon as you touch the throttle. If you get too aggressive with it on corner exit, you just end up doing these big sideways movements, and that is slow. <laughs> Although you can see the smoke in the rear view mirror, that's pretty fun. This thing is certainly a respectable performer, not just as an electric sedan, but as a car. Well, now we get to find out if the Model S is any fun to drive, and the initial impressions are, yes, it is. The power is just incredible. You dip onto the accelerator pedal. We can't call it a throttle pedal, but you dip onto the accelerator pedal and you just get this sensation of torque that you don't find in anything but a supercar. It's incredible to think that the quickest sedan built in America is built in California and it's electric. The steering feel is very nice, very linear in the way it responds. You can tell it's a heavy car, but the chassis loads up nicely around a corner and it's using its weight rather well, all 4,700 pounds of it. Now part of the reason why it's working so well is because the battery pack sits so low in this car. It's actually a stressed member of the chassis and that helps this thing around a uh, winding road. It definitely helps this thing. Now one of the things I admire so much about this car is that it isn't built by an established automaker. It's free from the established philosophies of how to build a car and it feels totally different because of it. This feels like car 3.0. It's the next generation of what a car should be. I mean sure the core concepts are there. It has a steering wheel, it has four tires, but it's electrically powered. It has really nice styling cues that look futuristic but not too in your face. The interior is very well done, but it still feels different, but in a nice way. You could tell this car would be easy to use on a day-to-day -day basis. The infotainment system is like a giant iPad glued to the dash, although it looks a lot better than simply an iPad being glued to the dash. It's touchscreen, and I've complained a bit before about how touchscreen systems work, how they don't provide enough tactile feedback. Well, it turns out if you design a touchscreen that's good enough, it's plenty usable like this one's is. It's fast to respond. It works very well. 
one of the strange things about driving an electric car versus a gasoline powered car is you don't have any engine sound. You have no cues to tell how fast you're going other than the torque sensation in your stomach and the speedometer that's rapidly climbing up. And without that engine noise, you hear a lot more of the tires, you hear a lot more of the wind. You might be able to hear the limits of the tires a bit more as a result too because you don't have an engine blaring at you at full song. You have to recalibrate your right foot as well. In a gasoline car, you lift off the coast, but in this Tesla, you lift off and it goes into an aggressive region that slows the car down pretty dramatically. You have to use the accelerator pedal to manage your speed and then rely on the brakes only when you need to slow down quickly. Now this is not an inexpensive car, upwards of $90,000 or above, but you consider the technology that you're getting, but also the luxury that you're getting, and it puts it right in the realm of the E63, Panamera, and so on. This thing, as heavy as, as it is, is pretty comparable with those. And given how forward thinking it is with its drivetrain, with its infotainment system and so on, it might be the better bargain. And so to sum up, can an electric car be fun to drive? Well, if this Tesla Model S is any indication, it definitely can. Forget for a second that the Model S is powered by electricity, and what would you have? Well, you'd have a good-looking, forward-thinking luxury sedan with a very impressive entertainment system. You'd have a car that drives like the best of its competition, fun, smooth, and pleasant. You'd have a car with large interior dimensions and plenty of cargo space. And with all that, you have an electric powertrain that offers incredible acceleration and considerable range. This car, this Model S, despite being the second car Tesla has built, has transitioned from a niche product to one that competes on the world stage. It may very well be the most important new car since the Model T.